Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and in this quick video I'm gonna show you how to play multiplayer aka co-op in SnowRunner. So first of all this video is directed to Xbox, Playstation, Steam and Epic Game users. I have no way of knowing how it works on Switch so if you know please leave a comment in the comment section and I will make sure to pin it. So let me go over all the settings and how you connect on different platforms or the same platforms and what are the differences. So first of all you go into start co-op game and then the game will ask you which save you want to use. In case you have multiple saves you need to choose the save that you want to play on. Now you might get this message on the screen that the crossplay is disabled. That means if you want to use the crossplay option, you need to enable it in the settings. So to do that, you go back to the main menu, you go to settings, and then you make sure that the crossplay mode is turned on. And now when you go back to the same menu, as you can see, you don't get the same message anymore. So at this point, I'm going to explain how it all works. So basically one player is the host and only his progress will be saved. Everyone else that will join him, whether someone from the friends list or someone completely random, they will gain experience and money, however they won't gain the progress. So if you join someone's game and you finish a couple of missions, those missions won't be saved on your profile. You will get rewarded with the XP and credits for it, however those missions will be still available on your account. So create a game option basically allows you to be a host of the game. And here you have a couple of options, private, public, basically if you set it on private, only people that you invited will be able to join. If you set it on public, all the random players will be able to join. However, as far as I know, that only applies to the players on the same platform. Here you can limit the players number, so anything between two and four. And here's another interesting feature, whether to turn on the mods or turn them off. Now, if you switch them off and you have some mods installed, you'll get this warning message. That will warn you that if you start that session, you will lose all your modded tracks. Now, basically they will get deleted from your game. The mods won't be deleted, but the, all the trucks that are modded will be deleted of your game. However, you will be reimbursed for them. So you will get full money back into your account for all the trucks that got removed. Another important information to do with that is that if you're planning to play a crossplay, so let's say you're on PC and you want to play with Xbox or PlayStation and you have some mods installed, there's a good chance that people from other platforms won't be able to join you because those mods are actually different, even though they might look on paper exactly the same, but the game recognizes them as a different mods. That way they won't be able to download the mods, that way they won't be able to join your game. So if you're planning on playing the crossplay, it's safer to go with the mods of option. Especially that you get fully reimbursed for it, so once you finish the session you can always buy back all the modded trucks. And once you're happy with all the settings, you just click start co-op and you will start playing on the save that you chose. Now another option is joins friends game, that only shows up for the PC players, now the Xbox players and PlayStation users. If you want to play with anyone from your friends list, all you gotta do is just create the game and then use the Xbox menu or PlayStation menu to invite them that way into your game. Of course they need to own the game, however they don't need to own any of the DLCs. Even though you're gonna invite them to, I don't know, the newest DLC, they still don't have to own it, they can help you, they can play with you, they can earn credits and experience. However, because the game will be saved only on the host profile, it doesn't matter that the person joining it doesn't have access to DLC. They will also be able to use all the DLC trucks, but obviously they won't be able to keep them. So if you're on PC and you want to play with, the, with anyone from your friends list, you need to use that option here, join friends game which will basically show you the list of your friends and you can invite them that way. Now the third option, find game, basically that means you can join someone else's game that set up the game to public when they were creating their game. Now the crossplay blacklist is pretty self-explanatory, you can blacklist the people that you don't want to play with and you will never get connected with them again. And the last option, which is the most complicated option, it's the option that you need to use in order to play cross-platform. So what the footage you see right now it's on the PC and I will show you how to connect to the Xbox. 
and the other way works exactly the same whether it's playstation pc xbox whatever it is it will work exactly the same so here i'm gonna host the new game and i will invite my account from xbox to play with me so i'm gonna create the new game set it on private switch off the mods and start co-op session now once you're in the game and you want to invite your friend from a different platform all you gotta do is go to this menu and as you can see you have a new option at the very bottom called manage party so once you click it you can see who's in the session up to four players and you can also see your sessions code which is very important which is what you need to give to your friend in order to join your game so now let me show you what your friend on xbox or playstation has to do so you need to go to start co-op session as it was before and again you need to choose the game save you want to use so here you go to connect to session by code option and now you need to type in the code that you saw on the pc session now I'm not sure if it's case sensitive or not, but just to be on the safe side, I typed it in exactly how it shows on the PC session. And after you type it in, just hit connect and wait for the session to join. And as I said before, your friend doesn't need to own any DLCs in order to play with you, even if you're playing on the newest DLC. And as you can see, I'm connected and I will be able to play in the co-op session. Also, all the trucks and all the trailers that you will be able to use while joining someone else's sessions, it's theirs and it stays theirs. So you can't bring your own truck into the session. Basically, you're on someone else's game safe and you're just helping them out in return for having fun and getting credits and experience. Now I hope you find this video useful, if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one, thank you.